Okay, you excited playing in front of the fans again? Yeah, absolutely. I'm delighted to welcome them back on Tuesday. Um, it's an exciting game, obviously, against the Australians. Um, but yeah, now one we're really looking forward to, to having them back. It's been so long, um, and the atmosphere they create every time they come is uh, yeah one that we love. They're the best in the world, aren't they? Um, well, they're that twelfth player for us. Um, you know, if obviously we're we're uh, chasing a win or we need to to get a goal, you, you hear them and they're right behind us every single time. Um, that game against Ukraine at home always stands out for me, how electric it was that night. Um, we've, we've broken the record um, a few times, so I'm hoping to, to break a, f a few more uh, attendance records going forward um, and have, to, and have a, a packed out Tallah Stadium. There's always an element of, of having to block out um, kind of what's going around it and concentrate on what's in between the white lines. Um, but you do, you, you hear them um, every time they get going. And, they're, they're chanting and, and really driving us on. It's been so long, as you said, but it, without them um, over COVID. Um, and I've, I've seen firsthand how important they are, even back in the WSL. So be uh, delighted to see them back on Tuesday. For yourself, now, it's, it's been quite a while. If you were going back to your debut against Hungary all those years ago, do, do you feel comfortable now as a senior player and as a captain? Yeah, I mean, you show me age now, going back to, to Hungary all that time ago. But it's it's been a it's been a quick few years. You don't you don't see them flying through. But I like to think as myself as a as a senior player now, and um, obviously representing my country a hundred percent every time I put the shirts on. Um, it's the most proudest thing I think in my career was was debuting as captain and um, back against Northern Ireland. So. Yeah, for me now, the full focus is uh, is driving this team forward um, to, to get to a, a major tournament. You're at a club that's full of international stars. Do you get a buzz that you're amongst that? Like, you've got some of the best players in the world in your squad. I don't think of myself as a star. <laughs> Be getting stick from the girls now at that. Um, but, as you said, I'm, I'm around really top, top class players um, day in, day out at Arsenal. I like to learn from them um, and I like to think they could learn a two or thing from me as well but I think that's the, the beauty of playing with a club like Arsenal and you're around those superstars um, of all, all, all different kinds you know we've got some goal scorers we've got real leaders on the pitch we've got top class defenders um, and very experienced goalkeepers as well so I'm uh, yeah I'm used to obviously one or two of them that will be playing now on Tuesday in, in, in Steph and Lydia unfortunately Caitlin Ford she's, she's carrying a bit of a knock so yeah, I'll be looking forward to, to playing against them on Tuesday. I've spoken to them a few times, obviously, about getting them over to Dublin, non-football related, to, to kind of show them around. But delighted, obviously, to, to welcome them over. I'll be really looking forward to, to seeing them on Tuesday and um, having a, a good go. In terms of the team moving forward now, there's such a positivity from the outside that now watching the positivity that was already inside the camp now. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Uh, it's been really exciting off the pitch. Um, we are equal pay. Um, obviously, it's fantastic news, and along with the Sky sponsorship as well, but it's up to us now to, to focus ultimately on our job, which is obviously getting results on the pitch.